It is Sunday, July 1st, 2018, 104 p.m. Feels it's 31 degrees outside. Feels like 41. It is it's a scorcher. But literally, it was just confirmed that John Tavares is a goddamn Toronto Maple Leaf. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Woo! Oh my god, dude! Ah! Oh. It's so good, it feels so good, I'm overjoyed. I have like tears in my eyes, I'm so goddamn happy right now. What a blessed day for not only Toronto, not only Canada, but the world. Oh, milkshake, milkshake, you're here, look, you're here. Look, look at how my turtle made police PJs. Oh yes, hello, sorry. I'm so happy, dude! Unreal, unreal. So I posted a thing on Twitter that he thanks he thanks the New York Islanders for um, their time and molding him into a player. But um, all the it's it's pretty much confirmed. I mean, the Leafs haven't said anything out. I haven't got a thing from the score. But um, like for example, um, I'm like lightheaded. <sighs> um. Stangles freaking out live, I'm gonna have to watch that. Elliot Friedman, seven years for Toronto. Oh my god. I'm so happy! Dude, I'm so happy! One of the best players in the world from Toronto. It's coming to goddamn Toronto, dude. Yes! Oh my god, this is amazing. Can you just imagine? This is this is our center line next year. Like Matthews, Tavares, alternating, Kadri, and then a 4C. What? Are you for real right now? Oh my god, dude. Okay, literally, so last night, I, from like 10.30 to 12, I was sitting there refreshing Reddit. I was like, come on, Tavares, don't sound with the Islanders. Come on, dude, don't. Please, God, don't. And then as, and, and as time went on and on and on, it became closer to 12, and I was in the New York Islanders subreddit, and they went from like sad to angry to just pissed to like sad again, and it was, it was kind of sad, because I was like, if, if Matthews left the Leafs and he's like one of the only good players on the team, I'd be pissed. I understand where they're coming from, but that was hard to read. But then I was like, I'm, but selfishly as a Leafs fan, I'm like, dude, please don't sign there. And so, whew, and so it's, it's clock strikes 12 and I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. So either Lou Lamorello is keeping this tight lipped or he hasn't signed. I wake up and so I go to bed at like one or something and the entire, literally all night I dreamt about Tavares signing with the Leafs. I had a, I had a dream where he was holding a press conference about how um, the Leafs, what, the Leafs um, jersey was uh, misinterpreted negatively or something. I don't know, I don't know what he was talking about, but it was breaking news, Tavares to Toronto, the score. Maple Leafs signed marquee free agent John Adams to report a seven year deal. It's goddamn official. Okay, so I'm dreaming about this all night, and literally I couldn't sleep. I kept waking up every hour. I woke up at like seven, then every hour afterwards, and at like 8:45 I woke up, and somehow I saw 12:45 on my clock. So I quickly grabbed my phone because 12 o'clock, that's when he can sign. I check my phone, and there's nothing, and I'm like, what? And then it says 8:45. I'm like, what? But whatever. So, and then, and then it turns out that it's official. It's like it's like officially he did not sign a contract yesterday, and I'm just like. <laughs> And then I'm like, please, please just sign today. I just want to know. I just want to know what's going on, dude, please. And then it's, it's official. He signed with the goddamn Toronto Maple Leafs. That's my team. I cheer for that team. Oh, blessed day. Oh, blessed day. It's, it's such a good day today. And it's mom's birthday. I even mentioned that. She's at the beach. Hopefully she's having as good of a day as I am. Because, oh my God, I'm in a good mood right now. On top of that, we've got JBR uh, uh, apparently going back to the Flyers for uh, five years, five million, I think, or seven million. I don't know. He's going back to the Flyers. Go See you later, JBR. You are a great, you, you're a great player for the net. But the closer to the, to the Leafs end you got, you sucked. So I'm, I'm sad to see you go. But at the same time, I don't really care. Bozak to the St. Louis Blues. Apparently, I'm like, okay, you know what, Bozak. I really like Bozak. He was a great player. Kind of slow and you know not always the best. I'll miss him, but we don't have room for you on our team. Bye. Komarov is a, a apparently either going to Columbus or New York. It's not confirmed yet. He was a good player. Very slow last year and the year before. Doesn't really do much. I mean, you service the Toronto Maple Leafs in the, in the worst of times. Props to you, sir. See ya. We don't have room for you. Polak. Dude, you were... At times, you were the most frustrating person to watch on the Leafs next to Gardner. But when, as, as the season went on and as the playoffs got closer, you ramped it up and you were a goddamn soldier. And you were amazing. 
for a bit. I remember last in the, the Washington playoff series, I thought, holy crap, Polak is Polak is one of the probably the best defensemen on the Leafs have right now. And it was and it's unfortunate you broke your leg. You came back, you kind of sucked for a bit, and you got better and better and better. And you were awesome for the team. Thank you. We don't have room for you. See ya! Who else is there? I don't even know. He's going to Dallas, I think, Polak is. So, yeah. That's what's going on today. Tavares is a Leaf, dude. <laughs> I'm, I haven't been this excited since the Leafs drafted, got the first round pick, and then drafted Austin Matthews. <sighs> like, I don't want to be a typical Leafs fan, okay? Because every Leafs fan is going, oh my god, we're going to win the cup. And I mean, in my head, yeah, definitely, we're winning the cup. But, I mean, just like... Our chances just shot up. Are you kidding me? One of the greatest freaking players in the world is on the Leafs team. And the team that I cheer for. Oh, dude, honestly, throughout the week, my, my feelings have been like, I've been like, um, I'd go from, from like, he's going to sign with the Leafs 100%. It makes sense for Mississauga. His wife works here. His family's here. He grew up a fan of the Leafs. It makes so much sense. And the Leafs are good now. He has the chance to make history here. He's going to come here. And then the next day, be like, he's going to sign with Islanders. Good things coming to Toronto. He's gonna, we, we're, good, we're a good team without him, Mike. Just get used to the fact he's not coming here. Don't get your hopes up. And I was like, and then I would go from like, and then I changed my mind to, no, I mean, he, I don't know. Kind of Islanders aren't really doing that much with him. Um, with their team, they're kind of rebuilding now. He's, he wants to win now, so he's gonna go to San Jose. He's gonna go to San Jose or another team. He's not gonna go to the Leafs. And then he flip flopped between those three, and then yesterday I was just like, I don't know what to do. And today I was like, I don't know what to do. And oh my god, he's not with the Leafs. I'm so goddamn happy. Uh, I, I'm so, I'm so glad. Because, I, I back to the Stanley Cup thing. So, our team is stacked now. Like, we're, we are a good team. We have to fix our defense. Our offense is unreal. As long as Babcock doesn't employ that dump and chase strategy he did last year, we're golden. Because dump and chase is garbo. Please, Babcock, do not do that. But, oh my god, dude. Shots of hurts. It's a goddamn Maple Leafs. <laughs> yes, dude. I'm like jumping for joy. Uh, I was talking to Carla about this, who, she does not follow hockey. She doesn't know. She doesn't, she doesn't get, she, she's like, I was telling her about hockey, I was telling her about this yesterday. She's like, I don't really understand this. I don't whatever cool and then I was telling her today how like I, I lost sleep over it I was thinking about it all night and she's like I don't understand how you can be passionate about something like that like I wish I could be that passionate about something hockey and the Leafs I love them so much and it's just oh <sighs> I'm so happy right now dude I'm so uncontrollably happy <sighs> this is great I I hope I get to watch this video one day when hopefully the Leafs have won the cup and this will be like a memory I have of like just a thing they did that was like, oh my god, this was like a catalyst hopefully. I can't believe it. I just, I literally, I, I'm in shock. I'm in shock. I'm overjoyed. God damn it. I'm in, geez, I goddamn Maple believe, dude. Ah. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, happy Canada Day, happy birthday, mom, I love you. And um, John Tavares is a Maple Leaf. Austin Matthews is a Maple Leaf. Mitchell Marner is a Maple Leaf. William Nylander is a Maple Leaf. Brigham Morgan Riley is a Maple Leaf. Um, who else is there? Nazem Kadri is a Maple Leaf on an amazing contract. Goaltender Frederick Anderson is a Maple Leaf. Everyone's a Maple Leaf. I love it. Sweet. All right, I'll, 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 I'll see you later. Yes! Woo!